in the age of ancient Netheril, a land shrouded in mysticism and forgotten powers, there existed a series of remarkable artifacts known as the Black Obelisks. These magical marvels held within them unimaginable abilities, some even capable of manipulating time itself. Picture in your mind the otherworldly beauty of these obelisks. They were said to be fashioned from extraordinary materials, be it obsidian as dark as a moonless night, a smooth black stone adorned with ancient runes, or a mysterious black metal that defied identification. Towering high into the heavens, they tapered gradually from their broad bases to majestic pyramid-shaped peaks, each one unique in its size and stature. Some stood at a mere 15 feet, while others reached an astonishing height of 50 or even 60 feet 18 meters. Legends whispered of their extraordinary properties. It was said that even the tiniest shard broken off from an obelisk would be mysteriously drawn back to its original form, as if the very essence of these artifacts yearned to be whole once again. But it was their power that truly captivated the hearts and minds of all who heard their tale. The Black Obelisks possessed the wondrous ability to reshape reality and manipulate the flow of time. Merely by their presence, they could reverse the age of all nearby beings by an entire decade. And with the aid of another potent artifact, such as the mighty staff of power wielded by the arcanist Irialarthas, one could even transport an entire world back thousands of years within its own timeline. The obelisks radiated auras of arcane energy, casting a mesmerizing glow around them. It was said that spellcasters could tap into this mystic energy, utilizing it to teleport themselves and others to distant realms, their destinations determined by an enigmatic ebon pool of black ooze and a set of corresponding black marbles. Yet the secrets of these obelisks did not end there. Some contained within them powerful extraplanar beings, such as the mighty Nalfeshni and even a majestic quattle named Tesca Zayanya. They stood impervious to the corrupting touch of the Far Realm, evoking reactions from the fair's rest that permeated the treacherous caverns of the Underdark. The tale of the Black Obelisks traces its roots to the Enigmatic Weavers, an ancient group of spellcasters who created the initial prototypes capable of altering time and reality on an awe-inspiring scale. As a safeguard against catastrophe, these weavers wove their magic into these remarkable artifacts. However, their existence was threatened when the Earthian being known as Vecna acquired one of the obelisks and eradicated all other instances of the artifact from existence, seizing their creation's power for himself. Yet, the knowledge of the obelisk's creation found its way to the Netherese Arcanists, who, even after the fall of their mighty empire, crafted their own versions of these marvels in the realms of Faerun. Though they could not save Netheril, several of these treasures were safeguarded and hidden away in remote corners of the realms. Throughout the ages, these enigmatic obelisks made their presence known in various locations, each with its own unique story to tell. Nightstone, a walled town on the Sword Coast, stood as a testament to one such magnificent structure. Shadow Dusk Hold, a domain hidden deep within the mysterious Undermountain, housed a pristine obelisk, rescued by the disgraced Shadow Dusk family. And in the perilous tomb of the Nine Gods in Cholt, a moss-covered obelisk, defaced by the Lich Asurak himself, served as a foreboding entrance to the treacherous dungeon. Venturing deeper into the realms beneath the surface, one would stumble upon the Whirlstone Tunnels, a labyrinthine network hidden beneath the city of Gracklestuff in the vast Underdark. Here, a broken obelisk lay in ruins, its shattered fragments whispering tales of ancient power. But perhaps the most awe-inspiring sight awaited those who dared to journey to the fallen enclave of Ethrin, nestled beneath the icy embrace of the Regged Glacier. Embedded deep within the frozen ground, a fully functioning obelisk stood, a testament to the grandeur of a bygone era. Throughout the realms, these legendary artifacts evoked wonder, fascination, and a sense of reverence. Their origins were shrouded in the mists of time, their purpose veiled in mystery. As knowledge faded and generations passed, the obelisks became lost to the annals of history, their secrets buried deep within the realms of Toril.
Yet, the legends endured, passed down through the ages, whispered by those who dared to dream of the power and marvels encapsulated within the black obelisks. And in the hearts of adventurers, the desire to uncover their hidden truths burned like an eternal flame, waiting for the day when their enigmatic power would once again be revealed. But who were these weavers? In a realm far beyond our own, where magic danced upon the very fabric of existence, there dwelled a race of extraordinary beings known as the Spellweavers. Or maybe it is that they might be called by a more whimsical name, the Weavers? These enchanting humanoids possessed minds brimming with wisdom and hearts filled with the essence of raw arcane power and very well could be the same Weavers who constructed the Black Obelisks. Their brilliance knew no bounds, for they were blessed with a mastery of the art that surpassed all mortal comprehension. With every incantation, they could bend reality to their whims and shape the very threads of existence. It was a gift granted to them by the cosmic forces that governed the universe. As the weavers flourished, their empire stretched across the vast expanse of the multiverse. Planes bowed before their might, and even the most ancient of dragons marveled at their unimaginable power. They wove spells of such grandeur that worlds trembled in awe, and the heavens themselves seemed to shimmer in their presence. Yet, as their dominion reached its zenith, tragedy befell these majestic beings in a cataclysmic instant. A cosmic tempest of immeasurable magnitude swept through their realm, tearing asunder the very foundations of their existence. The weavers, who had once held the power of gods, were now cast into the mists of oblivion. But their legacy endured, whispered among the mystical winds of legend. Tales of their brilliance and the wonders they once wrought echoed through the ages, filling the hearts of those who yearned to unlock the secrets of their lost empire. Though their physical forms vanished, leaving naught but fragments of a forgotten era, the spirit of the weavers lives on. Oh, dear listeners, prepare your minds for a tale of extraordinary creatures, whose very appearance defied the norms of our mundane existence. Picture, if you will, their alien forms, unlike anything seen before or since. These weavers possessed bodies of such ethereal delicacy, adorned with not four, but six arms. With graceful precision, they wove their enchantments, their extra limbs a testament to their unparalleled dexterity. But it was their necks that truly set them apart, O oh brave souls. A neck so long and supple that they could turn their heads a full circle, gazing upon the world from all directions, with nary a care. Such agility, such flexibility, it was as if they were creatures born from the whimsy of a fantastical dream. Their skin, smooth and devoid of hair, bore hues that transcended the ordinary. Oh, the kaleidoscope of colors that adorned their forms. A tapestry of grey, interwoven with patches of beige, pink, or yellow. Each weaver was a living canvas, a work of art in its own right. Imagine, dear listeners, their visage, both mysterious and captivating. They possessed a genderless appearance, vaguely reminiscent of avian creatures. Their bodies, graceful and poised, moved with an otherworldly elegance. And their eyes? Oh, those luminous orbs, large and dark, seem to hold within them the very secrets of the universe. But that is not all, for even their lifeblood flowed with an enchanting hue. Can you fathom it? Their veins coursed with a metallic blue, akin to the shimmering dance of Quicksilver. It pulsed through their beings, a testament to their intrinsic connection to the arcane forces that shaped their existence. Imagine, if you will, their powers of telepathy, so potent that their very thoughts could weave a tapestry of communication across vast distances. In their presence, invisibility held no secrets, for their senses, finely attuned to the ebb and flow of magic, could pierce the veil of the unseen within a radius of a hundred feet. They were beings touched by the essence of enchantment itself, granting them the ability to perceive the hidden and the intangible. But their mastery did not stop there, dear listeners. Oh no. These spell weavers, with a flick of their otherworldly fingers, could cast not one, not two, but a breathtaking six spells simultaneously. 
a spectacle that would leave even the most seasoned mages spellbound with wonder. Verbal incantations and material components? Mere trifles to the spellweavers, for their connection to magic was so profound that such constraints simply melted away before their sorceress might. Their alien minds, my friends, were fortified against the influence of enchantments. Mind-affecting spells and insidious scrying attempts were not but futile whispers against their impervious mental fortitude. Fear itself, though it may attempt to grip their hearts, could find no purchase in their ethereal souls. But let it be known that even these formidable beings, guided by the logic of their enigmatic minds, would choose the path of retreat if the odds deemed it a prudent course of action. Yet, there was one final marvel, hidden within the depths of their telepathic prowess. For the Spellweavers possessed a limited version of psychometry, a wondrous ability to glean the memories, locked within certain magical objects. It was as if their minds danced with the secrets and tales stored within enchanted gems, unlocking the arcane whispers of the past. In the realm of the Spellweavers, where time weaved its delicate tapestry, the notion of immortality was but a fleeting illusion. Though to the eyes of lesser races they seemed ageless, their ethereal forms graced by the touch of eternity, the truth of their existence was unveiled within the depths of their extraordinary lifespan. Six centuries, my dear listeners, was the span allotted to these enigmatic beings. A breath in the symphony of time, a fleeting melody that danced across the grand stage of their existence. Yet, do not be fooled by the brevity of this lifespan, for within those years, the Spellweavers carved legends that would echo through the ages. Age, O oh wise souls, held no dominion over their physical prowess. They remained untainted by the passage of time, their bodies untouched by the ravages of age. They were beings of perpetual vigor and vitality, their strength and grace undiminished even as the sands of time cascaded through the hourglass of eternity. But let me share with you a secret, whispered only in the hallowed halls of knowledge. The Spellweavers, unlike the races of mortals, did not bear the burden of birthing new life. Oh no, my friends, they emerged into this realm as fully formed adults, born through a wondrous and mysterious ritual. Imagine, if you will, their arrival, a burst of celestial brilliance as they stepped into the world, their minds already adorned with the wisdom and knowledge that would take others countless years to acquire. Yet, as the years wove their intricate patterns, the Spellweavers possessed a deep and instinctive understanding of their impending fate. A silent melody played within their souls, a symphony of farewell that echoed through the chambers of their being. When this time drew near, an elder weaver, draped in robes of ancient wisdom, would embark upon a ritualistic trance, a magical cocoon of slumber, woven with the threads of their own essence. Within this enchanted coffin, crafted through a ritual of profound significance, the elder weaver would surrender themselves to the embrace of a timeless sleep. Oh, dear listeners, this was no mere slumber of moments or days, but a trance that transcended the boundaries of mortal comprehension. For a single month, they would reside within this ethereal cocoon, but sometimes, dear friends, destiny would dictate a different tale. There were whispers, whispers that spoke of trance durations lasting not mere centuries, but centuries upon centuries, where even the touch of a waking world could not stir them from their dormant repose. And when the time came, when the Spellweaver emerged from the chrysalis of magic, they would be reborn. Their physical form would be restored, rejuvenated, and transformed, their skin darkening like the midnight sky, a testament to the renewal of their being. And lo and behold, their lifespan would once again stretch before them, another grand tapestry of six centuries, awaiting the brushstrokes of their magnificent existence. Their hearts yearned to rebuild the splendor of their ancient civilization, to breathe life into the echoes of their once glorious empire. With determination etched upon their ethereal countenances, they ventured forth in search of the remnants of their former colonies, known as the mighty Nodes. These Nodes, my esteemed audience, were no ordinary ruins. 
Nay, they were colossal pyramids of stone and steel, rising like majestic beacons of forgotten glory. Hidden in the farthest reaches of realms and continents, these architectural marvels beckoned the spell weavers with their whispers of untapped potential. With skilled hands and ancient wisdom, the weavers embarked upon the sacred task of restoration. Stone by stone, they meticulously repaired the nodes, breathing new life into the dormant structures. Oh, how rare and wondrous were these discoveries! A single node per continent, per world, per plane of existence. Such magnificence defied the realms of possibility, for the weavers held the key to uncovering these hidden treasures. Their footsteps reverberated through the annals of history, their journeys weaving tales of awe and reverence. But, dear listeners, the reactivated nodes held more than mere physical beauty. They were interwoven through a celestial tapestry, connected by a network of planar portals. Within the depths of these nodes, colossal furnaces stood as guardians of immense power. They hungered for the souls of mortals, craving the essence of magic items. Alas, after the fall of their empire, these once mighty furnaces lay dormant, ravaged by the tides of time. Yet the weavers, undeterred, continued their relentless pursuit. Their eyes shimmered with a fervent yearning, for they knew the true potential hidden within these furnaces. For a live node furnace possessed a power that rivaled even the gods themselves. Thus, they ventured through realms and dimensions, seeking the elusive fires that could reignite the spark of their dominion. But the weaver's quest did not end there, for they sought not only the fire of the furnaces, but also the ethereal fragments of a forgotten arcane symphony. These were rare magical gems, adorned with pieces of memories, a secret formula known as the Code of Reversion. Whispers spoke of its creation, forged in the golden age of their empire. The weavers yearned to reclaim these scattered fragments, to unlock the true might of the Code. For he who possessed the entirety of the Code held the power to shape the very fabric of reality. The spellweaver who memorized its every fragment could cast a spell of unparalleled magnitude. Its enchantment, dear friends, would rewind the cosmic tapestry, rewinding the multiverse to the time when the code was born, a moment frozen in the splendor of their empire's zenith. Within the enigmatic embrace of the black obelisks, whispers of a power unfathomable reside, a power akin to the legendary Code of Reversion itself. But hark! Only those who dare to venture forth, who cast aside the veil of ignorance, shall glimpse the secrets veiled within these obsidian sentinels. Let the tale of the black obelisks be woven into the tapestry of lore, an epic saga of magic and time, where the boundaries of reality are shattered and the mysteries of the past beckon to those brave enough to seek them. If you would like to hear many more tales and legends, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.